Jeremy Hazel here from 7 Season Studios, and this is an excerpt from our brand new course, The Complete Guide to Editing in Affinity Photos. So if you like what you see and you want 10 solid hours of what we got here, go ahead, check out the link below for a special offer for our YouTube family. All right, let's go ahead and get with the learning. All right, folks, welcome back to Affinity Photos. So we're gonna show you one of my favorite things to do here. We're gonna make what are called LUTs, and LUT is spelled L-U-T, and it stands for lookup table. Now, what a LUT is, is it will look at an image and then it will create a lookup table that says, say for this skin tone here, we want you to take that skin tone and convert it into another color. So the lookup table says for these particular values in this image, we're going to offset them to a preset. So a LUT is like a tonal preset. That's kind of the explanation. Let me show you how this works. So this image is in your downloads if you wanna follow along and we're gonna be working into the adjustment layer. So let's click here. Then we're gonna come up and we're gonna work in the channel mixer. Now, I'm gonna make a cool blue LUT. So I'm gonna to go to the channel of blue. I'm gonna kick up the green a little bit. I'm gonna kick up the blue a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and reverse out some of the reds. All right, until I get this cool kind of electric neon blue. That's pretty cool. All right, so there's my settings. That mixes the blue channel in with the red, the green, and the blue. And now the alpha channel, if you wanted to, you could adjust the strength of this thing. We could make it pretty much a cool steely blue. I actually kind of like that by kicking the alpha up a little bit. And then you can adjust the offset. Let's go ahead and adjust that offset just a little bit. That gives me that John Wick kind of neon uh, Blade Runner type vibe. I like it. All right, so we got this channel mixer done. Now we're gonna come in and I'm going to create a curves adjustment. So I'm just gonna create a standard S curve to give my picture a little bit more contrast. That is gonna be cool. You see how now we got the Aeon Flux type of vibe with that contrast? This is turning out to be pretty awesome. Okay, so now we can play with some other adjustments. Let's go ahead and see what else we can really push. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push a levels adjustment. Just a little bit in there. And then I'm gonna back the blacks off just a little bit and the whites. So really we got this really cool pink blue vibe going on. This is gonna be pretty cool. Now the last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to maybe use some sort of a lens filter. Let's try that. Now, you can try a couple different styles of lens filter. I like that, and I'm gonna drop that down a little bit for the optical density. You see when we go up, we get a little bit too much green. All right, so let's say that we really like this, okay? Now, we want to apply this to other images. Go to File, go to Export, LUT. And now it will give you this picture of a kitten and it will show you what that LUT does to this picture. Always bump your quality up to the top and let's call this Steely Neon Blue. Okay, you can spell today, I promise. And hit Export, all right, now. That's gonna save it as what is called a cube file. Cool, done, problem solved, problem staying solved. All right, now let's bring up a photo that has no LUT applied to it. So this is just a straight up model photo here. And now to apply the LUT you made, come over to your adjustment layer, add a LUT right here, load the LUT, and let's find the steely neon blue LUT file. And it'll take a second because it is a high quality file. It's looking at every one of those colors. And boom, steely neon blue applied to this image. That is actually pretty cool. Now you can adjust these LUTs using the different blend modes. Again, every LUT will act a little bit differently. That kind of reminds me of like 1980s hair metal. And you can also adjust the opacity from within here. So you can grain, grain it out a little bit. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just make it normal because that's really what I wanted to do. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and make all of my adjustments down here in the opacity. So let's allow you to save presets. And if you ever wanted to readjust it, you come over here and load it up. And I've got a couple other ones, right? I've got this dark and moody one. That's pretty cool. That gives it a completely different look. What I'm gonna do in the downloads for this lesson, I'm going to include a couple LUT packs that you can use to give your photos some really cool edge here in Affinity Photo. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next lesson.